hello everyone i am back with a new tutorial today's tutorial is about um, how to create floating stairs and this is the staircase which i'm going to create in today's video and these floating stairs along with this type of uh, modern railing so let's start with the tutorial and first of all let me open the architectural template okay so first of all let's create a wall on one side like this and now let's select the stairs command from here okay so it's very simple and very easy to create a stage this type of staircase in Revit. You just need to like select different options and it's very it's very easy, it is very quickly created. So let's jump towards that video. Okay, so let's uh, go to the edit type. So by default there are these three staircases. So but I need to create a floating one. So I will duplicate it and let's name this type as floating stairs. Okay. And this is from uh, here you can change the riser. I guess it's all okay. Let's keep it, this one as one feet. And Okay, the run type yeah that's where we need to change the settings mm. okay so there is this thread material and riser material we don't need a riser we only need threads in these stairs so i'm going to unselect the riser so now the riser will not be a part of our staircase and and only thread is its uh, thread it will be created okay from here you can change the thickness of the thread as you can see in this picture uh, this thread seems to be like three inches or four inches i guess so let's keep it, make it as a four inches thread uh, the thread profile is basically this part uh, but it is simple rectangular profile we don't need to change it and we don't need any nosing profile as you can see this one is a straight cut thread we don't need any type of nosing here so let's keep it zero okay so uh, our setting here is complete let's say we change provided material here this one is a foot mm, just like any type of one let's mahogany okay so our setting here is complete and let's name this one as four inches spread okay so after that we don't need these sports so i'm going to close them as well as you can see there are no sports on either side it is spotted on one side of, with the wall and there is a middle sport so if we don't need sport either on the left side or the right side so i'm going to close them i'm going to select them as none but yes we need a middle sport so i'm going to select that after that it is asking us to um, just um, uh, change the settings for the middle spot so this you can see in this uh, picture this black this black um, part of the staircase this one is the middle spot so uh, select this one so we have a new dialog box and let's say we keep the width of this spot as 8 inches and depth, let's keep it as 1 feet and from here you can change the material as well and let's keep this carriage as 8 inches okay 
okay so a setting here is done mm, so yes that's all we need to change to create a floating stairs okay now let's keep the actual runway let's change it to four feet our base level is level one top level is level two yeah that's all set and now you can see it is selected from the middle we don't want it this to select from the middle um let's keep it 60 years yes so here we have and select it let's go to the 3d view and here you go uh, we don't need a railing on the wall side let's delete it so we have let's hide it for a bit okay so now we have our floating stairs and you can see how easy it is how simple it is to create a floating stairs in Revit okay so now as we have this one complete now let's change the settings of this handrail to give it a modern look so I have selected I have clicked on edit it edit type and I have this dialog box let's duplicate it let's name it as modern railing okay so first of all we are going to create uh, this profile uh, you, we are going to create this top rail and here is these are the settings of the top rail yes we need the top rail it's selected it, you can change the height I guess 3 feet is the standard height is ok and let's change the profile from here uh, I think uh, 2 inches by 4 inches by 2 inches profile would be ok for this railing select okay let's keep it four okay now we have renamed it uh, we need to change the profile from here uh, let's see but it has a two by two inches profile and two by three inches profile but we need it four by two inches profile so for that go to this family section here is a profile section in this profile section there is going to be a ha handrail or rectangular rail yes rectangular handrail so open this one so there is 2 by inches 2 by 2 inches and 2 by 3 inches so double click on it a new dialog box will appear and let's uh, duplicate it and rename it as a 4 by 2 inches so here we can change these dimensions we want a 4 inches width and height should be 2 inches so that's fine click ok now select click on this and then click on edit type open the open this dialog box go to the profile and yes here we have our 4 inches by 2 inches profile select this you can change the material from here and either we want an extension or not but this uh, top rail does not have any extension so we are okay with that so yes that's fine okay so let's see how does the top rail look now so it looks very close to the picture one okay so after that you can see there has a lot of balusters here but we don't need them we have these um, scare balusters and it seems to be after every like two feet six inches or what so again go to the open this dialog box and there is this baluster placement and now we have this dialog box and from here we can change the profile of the baluster let's say let's say yes the square two inches would be fine here we need is and we need a one at the start as well 
and one at the end of the staircase as well if you don't select this these are uh, this is for mainly for the middle part and if you want a blister at the start at the end as well you need to this this is the start post and end post so select this same profile in here as well and we don't need any corner there is no corner here so let's select it none we don't need any space so let's make it zero okay okay so here our setting is done click ok um, yeah one more thing okay the distance from one pilaster to another here is as four inches but we need a two feet six inches distance so I've changed that and okay now click okay on okay so yes here we go but you can see the start and end one is not correctly placed so let's change its setting a little bit again click on it go to the blister placement and here if you add a space to it let's say the start post should be let's say let's say six inches no i guess four inches would be fine and the end post should be four inches before so we will add a negative mark to it okay so yes it is now perfectly fine okay now i need to add these one two three four five six seven eight nine ten wires uh, uh, in this uh, railing design so for that again open this dialog box and here this this rail structure non-continuous so and now we have this page or box so now i'm going to insert would say 10 of them right so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 so first of all the top one is going to be let's say the 3 feet is total height so let's keep the top one at 2 feet 9 inches and our profile is going to be a circular one uh, but the one inches diameter is we don't need a one inches diameter so let's change this um, let's change the radius of this profile mm, go to mm, again go to the profiles part in the family section here we have yes this circular handrail double click on it and let's keep the diameter as 16 because you know it's some sort of a Y it does not have much thickness so yes that is okay now again select it open this dialog box and from here select this one so we need this profile for all our, of our 10 components so I'm going to select the same one here okay let's keep uh, one rail at a distance of 3 inches from the other one so it is 2 feet 9 inches the second one would be at 2 feet uh, 6 inches then 2 feet 3 inches then two feet then one feet nine inches and then let's say one feet six inches one feet three inches and one feet then it's going to be uh, nine inches and the last one let's say, let's say six inches So yes i guess this is going to be okay now click okay and yes one more thing you can change assign any material 
to these components from here okay so yes here you go we have our we have our floating stairs with the middle spot with this modern railing which exa looks exactly like in this picture so you can see how easy it is to create such railing in Revit such staircase in Revit you just need to change our settings a little bit so just play around and you will have your desired one you will have your desired staircase so that's all from today's tutorial I will be more consistent with the videos and I hope you like this one don't forget to like share and subscribe and I will be back very soon with a new tutorial I really hope you like this one have a nice day